you guys, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but I just unloaded all the groceries. I'm gonna start on this side. So, I got this white sandwich bread. I don't really like this, but John loves it for sandwiches, so I got that to make him sandwiches for lunch. I got these plain bagels. I thought in the morning we could make like breakfast bagels with eggs. I got some of my favorite healthy like sodas. Two apples, because I really wanna make a kale salad, like a fall kale salad with sweet potato, apples, and then some kind of protein and a really good dressing. Avocados, these are blood oranges. And then I just got some sandwich meat and cheese. This is my favorite juice to add into my smoothies. It's the morning blend. So good. I got some organic butternut squash soup. I've never tried these, but I love anything sea salt and vinegar, so I'm excited to try. I got some pancake and waffle mix for my new waffle maker. Mushrooms. This is a horse horse radish. I can never say that. <laughs> horse radish Havarti cheese. This looked amazing. <laughs> I love Havarti cheese, and I love horse radish, so I thought this would be tasty. And then I also got some organic apple chicken sausages. I love making this with like a pasta, it's so good. I got some sweet potatoes for that salad. I got some Siggy's yogurt. I got the mixed berry, key lime, and then I think just vanilla. Yes, vanilla. And then I got these butternut squash Parmesan crackers. I thought these would be a tasty little snack. I got some more, like a different kind of pancake and waffle mix. I got some heavy whipping cream for like my pasta dishes. Also, I wanna try to make a homemade version of like the pumpkin cold foam that Starbucks makes, so I thought this would work for that. I got some of this aloe vera juice, which I heard is really good to like drink in the morning for your skin and just for your overall health, so I thought I would give that a try. And then I got some more green tea. This is the matcha kind because I ran out. Fingerling potatoes because I love baking those for dinner. I literally got three <laughs> ground beefs because they were on sale for like four bucks and they're organic. So I thought that was an awesome deal. I got these little meat sticks. The barbecue ones are my favorite by the Vermont brand. I got three raspberries because they were also on sale. Some organic brown eggs. And then I just got some kale. So I figured that would be good. Um, I usually like that better than like that kind of kale, but I brought, bought both just in case. make a dirty martini. I'm in the fucking mood if you know what I mean. Step one, martini glass, check. Step two, vodka of your choice. I love Grey Goose. Step three, I'm gonna be using a shaker because I like my martini shaken not stirred. So I just have this little handy shaker, check. I'm gonna go fill this with ice. BRB. Check. Okay. So I'm gonna do two shots like this size of vodka. Uno. Fuck. I spilled like half of it. That means we'll probably have to do like two and a half. A little more for good luck. Okay, so the vodka is in the little ice shaker. Now we're gonna do, I don't have any dry vermouth and honestly, I couldn't care less. So, we're making it without that. I got these olives today from World Market that I'm really excited to try. They're martini olives, so it's the real deal. First, I want to try one because, oh my god, it's 
delicious. So next, I need to pour some olive juice in this bitch, so. I'm literally gonna do two shots of olive juice because I like it fucking dirty. Fucking dirty. Honestly, I'm gonna do more because I know myself. nice and chilled so now I'm just gonna pour it on my glass oh I made like the perfect amount okay final and most important step is putting some fucking olives in there so be right back I bought these little sticks for my birthday party and I still have them so that's what we're going for I'm just gonna put a ton of olives on my little stick how cute one two should we do three or four mm, four seems like it fit it mm. And voila, let's try. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh. So I might have overdone the vodka. <coughs> <coughs> but it's good. I'm glad I did extra olive juice because otherwise it would be pretty gross. So let's try this again. Honestly, it's not bad. I just think maybe the dry vermouth is like necessary. The olives are good at least. Mmm. Okay. Let's make some dinner. Dinner served. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I'm going to do this with a butternut squash soup stuff. And then I'm gonna do some rice and make this delicious, hopefully, dish that's perfect for fall. So let's get cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna use this white rice from Whole Foods, this butternut squash soup from Whole Foods as well. Um, and then, these from Whole Foods. And no, this is not sponsored by Whole Foods. <laughs> Although I wish it was. <laughs> so step one, we need to cook the rice. So I'm gonna get that working right now after I take a sip of my martini. It's growing on me, guys. It's getting a little better.
Ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You shaved the mustache. No. <laughs> Time for a walk. Guys, it's actually so cold this morning. I think it's in like the lower 50s, but I'm slowly warming up. Just kidding, it's actually 46 degrees. I just made some matcha green tea. I got these tea bags from Whole Foods yesterday. And I used to buy this kind of tea all the time and I haven't bought it in a while, so I'm really excited. It smells so good. But I just got back from my walk. It was really, really nice. It felt so good to just like get my body moving. Um, but it's literally like 46 degrees out, which is just crazy. I feel like literally the same day that it was like officially fall the weather just like completely dropped it's so crazy to me how like it always seems to happen like that but i'm honestly not complaining i'm kind of excited for the slightly colder weather it feels nice to be able to like bundle up and be like a little chilly and then get back to my warm house and make some hot tea it just it's so nice and cozy but i've had a great morning so far i woke up early to make John some breakfast and lunch. So he left for work a little while ago and then I've just been kind of tidying up the house and I decided to go for that walk. Now I'm probably going to do one of my meditations from um, the Superhuman app and just kind of start my day off on like a good, positive, happy note. So I'm gonna meditate and drink some tea, but I will check back in soon. So I've been shooting a little bit of content the past hour or so and now I thought it'd be fun if we all took an aloe juice shot together. I bought this yesterday from Whole Foods and I've heard a lot of good things about drinking aloe juice, especially for like your skin and yeah. So this is just straight up aloe juice. I could get it open. Uh, let's drink some. Shake well and drink two fluid ounces up to four times daily. Enjoy alone or mix with your favorite juice. I want to smell it before I... Also, I left my hair natural today. Let me know what you guys think. I sometimes hate my curly hair but i feel like today it's kind of working sort of so i'm kind of going with it okay this literally just smells like aloe go figure i don't know if that's two ounces or not but we're just gonna pretend that it is so i'm gonna chase it with some water cheers guys Mm. it's really not that bad little midday snacky just some yogurt and raspberries yum hello we are about to head to dinner john's wearing this really soft shirt and 
it's getting cold. I'm obsessed with. Yeah, it's finally getting a little chilly, but we're heading to downtown Asheville. We're going to Chestnut, which is a really good restaurant in Asheville. So we're meeting his parents there, and yeah, it should be fun. But I'll show you guys some clips of the drinkies and food. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 yeah. You got the chef special. Wow. Hey, just give me one take a shot of it. I messed it up. No, it's okay. That there looks go. so good. Rice cookies or something like that. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I wanted to pop on real quick and obviously say hello, but I also wanna show you something really exciting that John and I picked up yesterday for the house. So, let me flip this around. <laughs> Ta-da! We got a dining table. I am so excited guys. This is like the perfect table that I found. I actually found it at World Market for an amazing price. It was actually on sale. And I just can't believe that we finally have a table. So we put it together last night after dinner. And now we obviously just have to search for some chairs that we like. Um, it does seat up to eight, which is like honestly perfect for this size dining room. Um, so I'm planning on getting six of the same chairs for like the sides of the table. And then the two head of the table chairs I want to be different and like bigger and nicer. So I'm going to be looking for that, but I'm so obsessed. I'm just so grateful and happy that we finally found the perfect table for our dining room. And it's perfect because the wood color actually matches. Okay, as I was saying is the color of our table matches perfectly with like our little bar cabinet area which is right here and then also just like all of our kitchen cabinets which are like a dark brown wood color so i'm just so thrilled and yeah i can't wait to start we still have the trash over there <laughs> but i can't wait to start looking for some chairs so i just wanted to show you guys because i was so excited it's literally freezing in my house so i put this i think it's john's actually but this little columbia jacket on but I wanted to show you guys real quick. I'm going to be making a little morning health cocktail. Um, or I guess not a cocktail, but like a mocktail. Um, I did have a couple actual cocktails last night when I went out to dinner. And so I feel just a little like sluggish and out of it. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of aloe vera juice. And then also some fresh squeezed lemon and we'll see what else i feel like adding but i'm gonna start by just squeezing some lemons i have these two halves in this bag that i've had for a little while so i'm honestly just going to use both but i think it's so important when you go out and go drinking to really try to just like nourish your body the next day because as we all know alcohol is not the best for your body it is fun though and i think everything in moderation but it is nice to just kind of give your body a little boost of health the day after like having some drinks so i just squeezed a good bit of lemon juice in here now i'm gonna just add in after shaking i'm gonna add in about that much of aloe juice and then I'm gonna do a mixture of cold water and hot water so I'm gonna start with the cold water I want the drink to be warm but not hot okay so now I have all the water in there let me see if I want to add anything else Ooh, this is nice I don't have much of it, so I'm gonna use the rest, but this is just an electrolyte unflavored concentrate that you just add in to water. So I'm gonna just squeeze the rest of that in here. 
Okay, well there's barely any. It's basically empty. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna throw that away. Okay, well that's all I'm gonna add in this drink for now, but I did find one of these electrolyte drink mixes that I'm gonna do next. Um, after I drink this, I'll just add it to water rather than adding it to this, so. Cheers to that. I just wanted to show you guys my little morning after drinking little ritual that I like to do. Mm. It's pretty good. The aloe definitely makes it taste a little funky, but it's so good for hydration and for your skin. And it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but my skin is having a little reaction to... I think some product or some makeup thing I used yesterday. Um, I used a different makeup than I usually use. I actually used the Ilia Truth Serum Foundation stuff and I used to use that all the time but it's been a while since I've used it and I'm pretty sure that may have been the cause for my little like reaction that I'm having. It's either that or I used some new like peel pads last night on my face with mandelic acid and I haven't used like a AHA on my face in a while like a chemical exfoliant because my skin is very sensitive and I used to use it a lot but I've kind of taken a step back so it could be either or I'm probably gonna throw out my Ilia foundation soon anyways because I have had it for a little while so it's probably gonna expire within the next few months I'm guessing um, and then as for the peel pads I'm probably gonna take a break and just let my skin kind of like get back to normal but if you guys are ever interested in me doing like a little skin journey story I would love to make a video just talking about that because it's been such a long 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 journey for me it's been since I was like 14 that I started dealing with acne and I'm how old am I 23 now so it's been quite some time and I've definitely learned a lot over the years I'm still learning I'm still healing my skin it's definitely not something I don't think like I don't think I'll be able to ever fully get rid of acne never break out ever again for me because I'm so acne prone but I think it's just about learning how to like keep it under control and learn your triggers and just, you know, there's just so many things that could cause breakouts. That's why it gets so confusing. There's usually not just like one thing that's making you break out. It's usually like multiple things, whether it's parts of your diet, um, stress, skincare products you're using, makeup products you're using, lack of sleep, you know, drinking too much. There's just so many aspects to like your skin health it's the largest organ in your body but yeah let me know if you guys would like to hear a little like skin story because i could talk about it for literally hours and i know a lot of people struggle with skin problems as well so let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in hearing about and i would love to just kind of share with you guys my experience my tips my things i like went wrong um and yeah Cheers. Breakfast. Yum. Wow.
Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. That looks amazing. Bartender. We are making a vodka soda with high Which flavor? Grapefruit? Um, a grapefruit with It sounds delish. No. <laughs> Not to the cherry. Wait, where did my drink also, go? No. Right here. Where's yours? Around the corner. Oh, okay. Ooh. That looks so good. Pour it up. Thing. Well, well right? I guess. <laughs> oh, all the electronics. No. Very nice. Oh. This one needs more. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> that looks good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Tank it. The tank? Yeah. <laughs> really? Look, Blake's in the tank. Listen, everyone makes their choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think we can get a regular tank. Got two bush lattes. Oh, yeah, the cider. Some cider, you know, like Blake fuel. I like where your head's at. Who's hurting? These two, Blake and Nana. Yeah. Everyone's got their partner? Everyone's got beer? I'm the anchor. Yeah, we're doing John and John. Uh oh, right. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.